everybody, welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new, my name is Kat. Hey, my name is Mina. Um, in the past, I, we've done two cooking videos already, and you guys seem to really like the cooking videos, so we're hitting y'all with another one today. What are we making today? Mom? So today we're going to do two things. We're going to do agua chiles, estilo Mina, and we're also going to make some pozole. So. Mm, sounds good. How's it going to be? Three pounds of lomo de puerco, and one pound of espinazo de puerco, which is the spine of the pork, and I already have... Done, we're just gonna go ahead and start with the aguachiles. And the aguachiles is really, really simple, guys. So, I have a pound and a half of uh, shrimp, and it's already been peeled, it's already been this vein. A lot of people like to keep the veins, I literally like to take them out, just so much better, more cleaner. I have a pound and a half of here, I have a, a one cucumber and a half of cucumber sliced up here, 20 limes. No way, you squeeze that yourself? Yes. 20 lines. So <laughs> I thought it was just lime juice. Yeah, 20 lines. I squeeze them all by myself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the cilantro. And it's just one little bush of cilantro. And you don't have to worry about the ends. Like you just add, put everything together. And like I said, chile is always at your preference of spiciness. So if you like it super spicy, then add a little bit more. Serrano is, for me, it's much better because it's more spicy here. So I'm gonna add about five chili serrano and I'm gonna add all this lime juice to the cilantro and the chile. We're gonna blend this. Smell it. I can smell it too. You can smell it. It smells <laughs> good. Huh? You just pour it into your camarones. So the lime juice basically cooks, cooks your, your shrimp. Okay. So you always want to make sure you put enough lime juice to cover up your shrimp. Wait. Set 
Trippy, you didn't introduce yourself today. What's up, What's everybody? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> he's a camera guy today. Yeah, he's being our camera guy today because um, it was a little bit hard when we were filming last time, trying to get like fix the camera all the time, and it was a little bit more time consuming than having someone be able to move the camera for us. But we wanted to show you guys the other beer that we like to drink. That's the Sierra Nevada. We were talking about it. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, I told him to choose because we went to the store and we were like, alright, let's choose what kind of beer we wanted to drink. And he chose Sierra Nevada. So. Good choice, good choice. And then it's funny because my mom's drinking a Sierra Nevada too, but she's drinking... What kind is this one? The fall uh, edition? Torpedo. Is it Torpedo, right? Yeah. But is it like a fall edition? Or yeah, it's a fall like... edition. Yeah. You like it? Which one? This one? Yeah. I like the Torpedo. I didn't like the Ruthless. The Ruthless was like uh, Oh yeah, so, one she, for me. so she said she got a pack of what? How many different kinds? Uh, th three different kinds. Torpedo was one. Uh, Ruthless was one. That's another one. And the other one, I think it's the hot water. My mom likes to drink alcohol more than. Hey, 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 hey. hey. So and she's the other like, one is... the, she likes to try out like all the new stuff. Yeah. Tumbler? Tumbler. Yeah, I don't know about like beer that looks like this. Like, <laughs> what? It's, a, it's an autumn flavor. Yeah, that looks like for Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> so it was good though. This one's good. It looks like it tastes like coffee. No, the other one. Ruthless. Yeah, it tastes it looks, like coffee. It tasted like an espresso. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't know about that. I've never had a milkshake that has alcohol either, Ooh. but I was telling him that we should try one. We could I try uh, alcohol yeah. with coffee too. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. My stomach doesn't like coffee already, so I can't imagine mixing I'll it. Put it up in. Our Texas people know what's up. Yeah, Papu Chico. That's from Texas? Yeah, it's me and my mom's shit right here. Whenever, where do you get it from? They have it like at Costco and stuff. Nah, um, I got it from South City, from a Mexican market. Yeah, so good. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not drinking soda, so this comes in. Yeah. So when you guys are preparing the meat, um, the key is when you're preparing the meat, do not add too much salt to the meat when you're cooking it because when you mix up the, when you start to blend in the, the, all the hot sauces, all the, all the peppers, you're also gonna add salt there. So you're gonna have salt already in your in your meat that's cooking, and you're also gonna add salt to your to your sauce. So you will always want to just add a, just a little pinch of salt to your meat, and then add the rest of the salt to your sauce. That's gonna blend in with your meat, or else it's gonna come out too salty. Mm, okay, okay. Take notes. Take notes. No. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want a salty pozole. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. So you think it's going to be spicy? Did you use any of the small chilies? No, I didn't use any small chilies because I didn't know. It's not spicy? You want it spicy? Yeah. <laughs> he sounds disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I can always add chilies. That's cool. Oh yeah, and I got these donitas too. So good. I know they have them in Mexico, but they're called something else. Yeah. I don't know what they're... I think they're called... Your grandma you guys know, always bringing the big old packs with the little mini bags. Yeah, like. it has, she had mini bags and they have some that are just limon and salt. So now I'm going to put the chickens in the blender. And I'm going to grab... I want to use some of this juice that I use to soak my chitas. In here so I can blend it. I'm going to add to all this. I'm going to add four pieces of garlic and some salt. Too thick, like mine is a little too thick. It's okay. All you gotta do is hit the. Everybody eats our um, mozzarella different way. We usually like to eat, eat, our, eat ours with um, cabbage, 
A lot of people like to use lettuce. Um, I don't know about lettuce. Yeah, lettuce sounds kind of weird. Yeah, cabbage yeah. is more crunchier. More crunchier. So I got some fine shop cabbage here. We got lime. You can add some radish if you want, and you serve it with tostadas. You have oregano? Um, chopped onions. I, mean, I got oregano too. Mm. That's about oregano, but you gotta have tostadas. Chopped onions for sure. Cabbage, lime. Mm, a lot of people used to like lime. I like, you like to use lime, but I don't yeah. know. For me, I just feel like it kills the flavor for everything. It's up to you guys. When I was young, I only used to put lime. I never used to put nothing else. Now I like to put cabbage and oregano, oregano. and all that. Yeah. And now I don't really put lemon either. Because you're right. Especially maybe when it's spicy. Yeah. When it's spicy, I'll put lemon because it just <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too yeah, just like the levels are down. <laughs> Isn't a secret for pozole, but I like to cook my maize and meat all at the same time. A lot of people like to put the maize afterwards, but I don't know. I feel like it tastes so much better when it's cooking with the meat. So all together, how long do you think it takes you? Um, with the meat, I would say about an hour, fifteen minutes to make pozole. Like if you're really down to cook pozole, it takes about an hour, fifteen minutes because it takes like forty-five minutes for the meat to cook, and then uh, another. 20 minutes so just like let it sit yeah with the chili well, once you blend in the chili and everything so it takes about another 15 20 minutes but it's the time for that weather when you start getting pozole or tamales yes. we're gonna have to get a vlog with some tamales for you guys because my mom makes some bomb tamales so i mean some bomb ass tamales ruffles yeah and, and then, then the green ones oh my god and then and she makes cheese and rajas con queso fresco so good yeah. so that's probably gonna be our next one because the holidays are around the corner and oh yeah Thanksgiving too Thanksgiving's coming up my mom oh man you I, guys you guys are about to get some good ass cooking vlogs coming yeah, up because cause, uh, for Thanksgiving I like to make um, baked mac and cheese um, mashed, potatoes mashed potatoes that are hella good that is my special recipe guys that I'm gonna share with you guys I learned how to make them and we I think we all did yeah even Anthony and they're yeah. so good yeah, they're so good, good. so. You guys gonna learn a couple things, a couple of the wavy cats um, family recipe. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll try to get it out before the holidays. So if you guys do want to try it for the holidays, you guys can. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. That's more. Ay, okay. Le pongo poner otro splash, mira. Use green salsa. Green chilies. Mm. Spicy mm -hmm. or sour? Sour. We just tried the pozole. I showed you guys some clips, but I didn't really record because there's kind of bad lighting right now. <laughs> but it was lit. It was lit. You liked it? Yeah, it was good, y'all. Now it's like you can't see. Yeah. For real. It's time to try. That watch you this. We want to go hit the pan a little bit. Take a shot to me. <laughs> I know my mom's over here drinking Patron. Mm. Nah, not us. <laughs> Pass. She got a G like that. <laughs> mm. I feel like I can already taste what the shrimp's gonna taste like. Cheers. Thank you, mom. You're welcome.
Let's see. The struggle to get it. <laughs> Delicious, y'all. Yeah. So you drink the agua or what? The candle? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All I hear is mmm. It's mm. fucking. <laughs> Spice button. Mm-hmm. you guys so we are now finished with everything yeah everything came out really really good so now we're like in food coma right now yeah <laughs> for sure we ate a lot we were blurry All right, there you go what did you think well what can I say I did a good job very good <laughs> so if you guys do follow the recipe let us know how. And if you guys have out. any questions, I'm willing to free to answer any of your questions. I know I wasn't like specifically detailed with everything I did, but if you guys have any questions, I'm down to answer any of them. But yeah, everything came out good. We're tired. We got our food to take home now. Yeah, she takes a little goodie back home with all the leftovers. Yeah, for my brother. And my <laughs> <sister>. <laughs> so everybody's about to eat right now, but. We just wanted to end the video. Thank you guys for watching another cooking video. If you guys want to see something else, let us know. Yes, thank you for the love and for the support, guys. Like, for us, I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you guys. We really appreciate it. There's more to come. More to come, so yes. stay tuned. Plenty of more. We gotta get ready for the holidays now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was telling you guys about that, so. So, some ponches, some tamales. So, what is that? Gorditas. What's that drink called? Atole? No, atole. not atole, but the other one. The fruit. Oh, el ponche. 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 Ooh. I just, I just, so I, oh, I don't want to tell her that I just made some last week, but anyways. That sounds how we do All right, but yeah, stay tuned, you guys, because we got a lot more videos coming. So, until the next one. Show you love. I need somebody just to hold you love. I show you off like a trophy love. Can I be your one and only love?